All right. Okay, so this is on um, self inquiry, the course in miracles, and 12 steps. And uh, the idea in the 12 steps of the freedom from bondage of self or being out of self when do, being of service. Now, uh, for me, the big book calibrates less than, um, is a less advanced truth than the Course in Miracles, but some aspects of it are at the level of almost more or less the absolute. If you were just take some of them um, as the only thing you do, it could take you to enlightenment throughout the day. So, so that would be uh, like uh, the 12 steps. If you just, you know, there'd be no time off for any ego indulgence. So selfless service is, is actually a way to enlightenment, but it would have to be like done at the level of where you take no breaks for ego indulgence. Like, oh, my ego wants to watch some TV uh, or whatever it is that you, is, are your ego entertainments. So it'd have to be like, you're not gonna allow the, the normal self, like my severe self my, that, and its likes and dislikes to ever emerge because there's a like wanting to get to the state behind the essence of, of selfless service, of service without any payoff from the world or the person or the future or myself. So that is actually, if you do it in that pure way, it would be a way to enlighten, because you're not going to allow your ego to come in. You're just going to be in that state of just serving others without any expectation of return, without any expectation of return from your own ego, your own ego dialogue about how great or bad you are. You're just going to be, in that, it's almost like a very, it's, it's actually the intention of a saint. Uh, so that's what St. Francis says, in dying, one is born to eternal life. And uh, eternal meaning in every moment, you never leave that thoughtless, uh, selfless state ever again. And he says, what you're looking for is where you're looking from. So if you use that 12 step thing, rather than I'm going to be of service for 10 minutes in the morning, and then I'm going to, I don't know, eat donuts for the rest of the day or go visit McDonald's. Um, then, uh, but it's a set intention for enlightenment. Yes, that would work. And why does it sort of make your life serene and still after you've been in that state of selfless service? Well, it's all kind of obvious. Your ego's like lost a lot of its identification and the presence, the, the infinite presence will drift, will stay for a while, but you've now given permission for your ego to think and you've given permission. You've chosen that it's now okay now this is time for me, Sabir, to watch TV and eat donuts or whatever the addiction is. So the ego self will quickly destroy that selfless infinite state that one was trying to do as a, as a 10 minute thing for whatever it was, one was trying to be helpful. So um, uh, there's a few things, if you just did those things alone, um, like being a, like, if you, that's, that's sainted. So I will be of selfless service and not allow my self-interest or self-indulgence ever to take root again. So that would then be um, saint, practicing sainthood in a 12-step group, which very few people in my, I guess, judgment I've seen, but some do. Um, the other one would be uh, in a 12 steps. Um, I pray and I meditate to improve uh, uh, my conscious contact of God, the consciousness of God. The consciousness of God is for me not limited. I'm not in personal thoughts, sort of stuck and fighting the world and getting resentful and fearful and, and not trusting and wanting to control everything. So to be in the presence and to experience the consciousness of the presence of God in every moment. So you're praying and meditating. It's almost like as an attitude, inner attitude, non-stop, so that you maintain that inner consciousness of God would be enough if you were dedicated to it for, for enlightenment. Um, and uh, so some of the things can be used. Yes, um, anyway, I'll stop, stop on that.